Hello to everyone. I am doing this video because some a while ago, like three days ago, I noticed that my computer it's a laptop actually and I noticed it responds very very slowly and that the memory load was 99% and I have 8 gigabytes of RAM and also my main disk main hard drive it's actually a solid, solid state drive SSD was at 100% load so the memory and the disk were at 100% load 99 and my CPU was I don't know like 80% load and I checked the processes tab to see which process is using for example in this case if you click right here it will put the process that uses the list CPU and if you press again it will show the process that you is using the most of the CPU resources so I noticed that the processed name process sorry sorry for my English process named system just a second I'll show okay so I noticed that this process system which you cannot end it it was using like 50% CPU 30% memory and when I was starting the computer it was also using my primary hard drive at 100% so that was a lot and it was always using it was the force in the top so the app the process actually that was using the most of my CPU it was using 30% only on itself so in this case I will have like 60% right now load if I will still have the problem <coughs> and like more than 48% load on the memory and after let's say one hour of using the computer I will get them all at 100% and the computer will stop responding I checked on the internet I've been so I right clicked on the system process and as I said it was at 30% 50% sometimes I just clicked search online and it automatically search on Google is is using high CPU Windows 8 so I found some some answers but they were unhelpful for example in this case in Windows 10 as you can see I found some solutions to disable the Windows search service method 2 checking compatible programs method 3, method 3 run command Method, method 4 use window performance toolkit to diagnose the problem so I did all of this it took me hours and hours and I did not manage to sort the problem out as you can see it shows you how to stop the window search process as you can see in these images so I did all of these steps. I I also run command. Press Windows key and type command in the search box. Right click on the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Okay, and after that you'll have to just copy this 
and just right click with your mouse or touchpad and click paste and hit enter it will take like five to ten minutes to complete and it will uh, I don't know it will uh, scan your your registry and all that stuff and it will check if the boot sector is okay and all the needed uh, things to keep Windows running smoothly and I did this but still no effect for me and I was thinking what could this be why does the system process is using so much resources as you might guess it was using like last time it was using 99% of the memory so the memory was at 99% and I have 8 gigabytes of RAM it's a huge amount of memory the CPU was at 95 and the disk was at 100% something like that so I was thinking it's definitely a virus and I just right click on my asset smart security I opened now I have asset smart security 10 as you can see before I had asset smart security 9 and when I've been to update section and I checked for updates so this is product update you can update the, the program itself so the antivirus that's it's smart security it found this version that it's installed right now version 10 and <coughs> I just clicked on um, update now or whatever it shows there and it was just not updating my li license was val valid, but I was having here an error. Right here, it was a red error. Right down with red. I check. I try to update now, and it was giving me virus signature could not be completed because of an error, and it was just not letting me to update the antivirus. It was not letting me to update. Uh, sorry, the v signature that virus signa signature database it was not letting me to update the, the program itself, the antivirus. And when I saw that, I just clicked on Google Chrome and typed asset, go to their website, select your country, or you can choose international English. go to for home windows or mac or whatever you are using and just choose compare for all windows and uh, i do advise you to choose asset smart security premium because i was using asset smart security before and I want to keep this antivirus because I like it, it's very good. And I installed another version of the Setmar security, so I have an antivirus and I can also keep my license, you know, I don't have to buy another antivirus. So after clicking on download, it will say something here download a full or a 30 day free trial version just click on download now now and run the setup it will automatically de detect your version of windows and automatically install itself 
you'll just have to click next next and that's it activate your software at in update section you will have here activate now before you can update you will need to activate the product so just activate it and that's it the problem it's gone as you can see right now system is using uh, 0 0.9 percent or 2 percent and 0 0.1 percent of memory 0 0.1 megabits of data from my hard drive so as you can see now the system exit the system process is running smoothly and I don't have any more problems so shortly the problem was because Asset Smart Security had crashed or I don't know it was virus itself I don't understand why this happened I never had this problem till now and I really had to struggle to find a way to fix it and I did discover this way myself after several attempts several failed attempts sorry because they all failed they managed to to solve the problem from the Google results so <coughs> if your system process system this one right here is using a lot of resources all the time and sometimes huge amounts like a hundred percent of CPU memory or disk just install another version the last version of reinstall your version of antivirus of asset smart security just reinstall it and update it activate it and everything will be okay after uh, that's all for a moment I hope it helped uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe and sorry for my English I know it's not perfect but I have been only living for a few years in UK and this is all that I could learn. Bye.